guys welcome back to another video on my channel if it is your first time watching me hello my name is gabrielle or gabby for short and i like to make videos on fashion faith and fun so if that's something you're interested in then subscribe for more videos like that so today we're going to talk about skin <laughs> we're going to talk about skin today because i have been through a lot with my face so I thought this is the time now where I can make a skin related video on my skin journey on the things that I've done my do's and don'ts my experience everything so with that being said if you want to see how I got my skin from this to this then keep on watching <laughs> so like i said i've been through a lot with my skin i've had acne for five years so i started getting acne in year eight so i was around 14 13 yeah and it was um on and off and then year nine started getting a bit worse in year 10 was when my acne started getting really bad like <laughs> I was getting spots, 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 spots everywhere. I tried everything. I've used everything. Turmeric mask. I did bicarbonate soda, apple cider vinegar. Like I've done everything on my face. And in year 10, it came to a point where I started using coconut oil. My skin was just not working with it at all. I had a really like big allergic reaction to it. I had like loads and loads and loads of different like spots, bumps, red spots, dark spots, white heads, black heads. I've been through it all guys. I've really been through it all. Like I had so many different types of spots. It's been ridiculous. I went to the GP and I got pills. Um, I think you can call them pills, yeah. So I take one a day to get rid of my acne. It worked, like it did actually clear my face. They, they gave me like a box and there's quite a lot of it. It lasted me a few months actually. Yeah, I got it in like, let's say, in like February and then it lasted me all the way up until August, I think, yeah, of that year, 2017. And like, it was good that time. And then as soon as I got off it, everything came back. Like, everything came back. So then I went back on it and the second time I went back on it, it didn't even work as well as it did the first time. So I had to look for different remedies to try and get my skin to normal without relying on the pills because after they're gone my skin just goes back to the way it was like <laughs> we don't want that makeup as well i'll put makeup on and it will still be there because i remember being like oh it's okay i'll just put makeup on and cover it it does not work <laughs> it does not work it doesn't look nice so i was so uncomfortable like ugh, i used to complain about my skin all the time and i was like when am i gonna get off this like i don't understand when am i gonna have clear skin my skin is not the clearest now like it's not like whoa fantastic but it's definitely better than how it was before so now i'm gonna go into a bit of the do's and don'ts that um i've experienced because i've literally tried everything and there's only been a few things that have actually worked for me and a lot of stuff that didn't so i'm gonna break them down a little bit let me just disclaimer this is from my own experience okay you have to know your skin type you have to know your skin type for me i had oily skin i heard so many reviews on coconut oil works coconut oil coconut oil but when i used it, it didn't work for me at all like i broke out so bad i broke out so bad so coconut oil was a no for me wearing makeup as well i know this is really really hard it was very hard for me because i was getting to the stage where i was wearing makeup more now and i had to let it go but at the time i was not wearing makeup like every day because i was going to school most of the time and i never really had the opportunity to go out and wear makeup so it wasn't that much of a big deal letting it go just letting your face breathe just letting your face breathe is really like for me that really helped i remember i did like three months no makeup nothing because i really really wanted like my skin to be i was trying to get it back on track so that really helps for me because especially with my skin i have sensitive skin i have oily skin so anything too much on my face break out <laughs> and i'm trying to avoid that at all costs like even now with my makeup routine that i have now i keep it very very minimal like i only use like well i use more powder foundation than liquid foundation because i'm trying to you know not put too much product in my face i really don't want to go back to my acne self so <laughs> yeah popping spots guys oh my gosh popping spots was the biggest mistake that i made popping spots my mom used to pop my spots all the time she didn't know what she was doing i didn't know what i was doing either i would just let her just pop my spots like she would just pop all my spots and 
then that made it so much more worse guys do not pop spots like that one <laughs> i don't know who's popped a spot and like their face is still the same well it works for some people but for me it was definitely i feel like that was like the number one thing that just made my skin so much more wet just it was just ongoing like i said for five years because i kept popping them as soon as you pop one another one will come out in another direction and even work even bigger with a white head <laughs> sorry been there done that ain't doing that again and that's just a no for me for me things like chocolate nuts oily food really was a no for me like i had to you have to have a good diet i would say so stuff like for me anyway nuts always made me break out not so much now i'm surprised same with chocolate they were like the top two chocolate and nuts for me were just a no-no because they would always make me break out you have to learn like what foods are right for you dairy products as well stuff like that like it just made me break out so i just stopped, I mean, stopped eating dairy dairy foods chocolate nuts touching your face i watched all the youtube videos they always said don't touch your face don't touch your face okay do not touch your face i do it now because i don't break out as i used to anymore but back when i had acne do not oh my gosh i used to sit like this all the time yeah i used to sit like this all the time in school and i had spots all down here guys i had spots all here i'll insert the pictures oh and they would hurt as well those big no, big spots all here they would really really hurt me like <laughs> Sitting like this, sitting like that, sitting like mm mm, I can't, I can't. Sit, uh, uh. And lastly, I would say is do not try everything. Okay, not everything is gonna work. I made the mistake of trying so many different products and not giving enough time on certain products, and that's why I used to break out a lot because my my skin wasn't used to the product yet and as it was getting used to it i'll just go and change something else like i didn't give it time to get used to products even now if i have a new product my skin will like react to it a little bit like maybe a day sometimes it might make my face look a little red but after a while it gets working and so don't just you know give up straight away you gotta give it time you gotta keep it moving like you gotta keep it moving so your face gets used to it and reacts to it um positively the do's, okay. It's good to have a good diet, I would say. So that incorporates drinking water. Drinking water, eating healthy foods. But yeah, drinking water does help. I feel like it does help. Like when, I, when I'm slacking on drinking water, I do feel like I'm breaking out a bit more. I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't know if I'm being paranoid, but I do feel like that sometimes. So drinking water is important, I would say, for clear skin. Everybody says it, drink water and mind your business. Seriously, it helps. And that goes to the next point of not stressing. When stressing out, sleeping late, they contribute to my skin um, breaking out. I wake up with like a little, little spark of that. Mm -mm -mm. Sleeping early, a good sleep routine. Okay, drink your water. All right, yeah. Have a good skin routine and stick to it. That is the key, 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 key. That is the one for me. Okay, use one product in the morning, one product in the night. Don't use too many products. Just stick to one or two products is good enough for me okay because too much stuff on your face you don't know which one's working you don't know which one's not working we can't be having confusion for our skin keeping it short clean like easy for yourself so your skin isn't reacting to too many different things uh, one thing i found that was helpful as well was having a face towel so i'm pretty sure most people have that anyway to have a nice fresh towel for your face specifically i did also use lightning products i forgot to mention this that would like um leave you with dark marks on your face like i just it didn't look nice on my face i'll see if i have any pictures i'll insert them but like around my eyes would be really dark um around my mouth would be really dark like you could just tell this wasn't my natural skin color i didn't know any better i was just using it my mom would just give me a product and i'll just use it and it would be skin lightening so that is definitely a no i didn't know at the time but it came to a point i was like wait this is skin light i read it I'm like this is skin lighting so make sure you read the product that you have as well to make sure it's not you know making you look a bit too light or whatever but now i'm gonna show you the products that i currently use so in the morning i like to use this new t-zone clear pore facial wash yes very cheap and affordable guys i'm pretty sure this is like one pound fifty if not less from home bargains nice affordable cheap my friend was one who's showing it me 
Um, shout out to Jemima. As you can tell, it's nearly finished. I need to buy a new one. But this really helps. I use this in the morning to wash my face with. It says it removes grease, oil, and bacteria that can cause spots. I don't know if it mentions it in the in, uh, in the instructions or in the um, ingredients, <laughs> but it does have like a minty type of like feel to it when I use it. So I like that in the morning because it's very refreshing. Like the, the, the minciness of it, it's very nice, foamy, just wash it in. So this is what I use in the morning. After I wash my face, I then use this as a moisturizer. In the mornings, I use this, it's like my daily moisturizer. I use this once because um, it is for dry, rough, bumpy skin. I did say, you know, make sure you use products that are for your skin, etc. But there wasn't actually one for oily skin. And the, because this one had the rough and bumpy skin, that was what I had at one point. In the summer last year, my skin started getting really bumpy, like really random, random bumps, small bumps on my face, all around here especially, and I hated it. So I went on YouTube, looked at some, looked at some tutorials, and yeah, this girl was talking about this for removing little bumps, especially. So you've got to make sure you read the <laughs> read what it's for, read what it can do, because yeah, it was really helpful for bumpy spots for me. Good for making your skin nice and smooth. That is what it does here. It says exfoliate, softens, and smooths rough skin while helping restore the skin barrier. It's a little thick, so a little goes a long way with it. <laughs> so I use that every morning, every day, since I discovered it. So this routine, like I said, I've been doing it since September. That was when I bought this, and yeah, really useful. And it was about, I think it was about £12. This one's a little, this is, this is the most expensive product out of everything that I'm going to show you, everything that I use. So it was about £12, but it's definitely worth it. Okay, so for the night routine, I use this tea tree daily use cleansing foaming facial wash. Yet again, nice, cheap, affordable. This is like 89p, I think, from Home Bargains, um, Body Care. Nice, cheap, and it just does the it just does the job. It's tea tree, tea tree. Everybody says it helps. Everybody says it's useful. So I went for tea tree. It's very light. So just wash it in the night. This is what I use every day as well. Gotta get rid of all the grease. If you have oily skin like me, you gotta get rid of all the grease. Water on its own is not enough. So yeah, I use this at night. Yeah, again, it's running out. I will be buying some more. Okay, so after I've used that, I then use this near. Okay, there's no. <laughs> I'm looking for the front of it. There's no front. So this is a Nivea um, that I use. It's just a moisturizer that I use at night. It looks like that. It's really good for moisturizing, guys. Oh my gosh, it's really good at moisturizing. Oh, but like I said before, when it comes to switching different products, your skin may react a little bit. What my skin did anyway. And with this, that's what happened because um, I used another Nivea. Nivea night cream, that's what I used, but um, it ran out and the shop that's near me, Asda, there wasn't that exact one, so I got this one instead and at first it reacted to it a little bit, mm, I was like oh my gosh, like my face was getting a bit red for the first few times I used it and then after a while it was really just like oh, the best, like I love putting it on, I feel like my face looks so nice and it makes my face super smooth, super moisturized, but not too moisturized because I have oily skin, I don't like to have too much moisture on my face, making it more oily than it needs to be. But as well as all the products that I've shown you that I use on a daily, I take two days out a week where I use two different other products for the night. I choose Wednesday and Saturday, but it can be whenever. And I use the black soap every twice a week, so like I said, Wednesday, Saturday, to wash my face with, instead of the tea tree and foaming wash that I showed you before. I use this on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I feel like black soap, it really just gets rid of like all the dirt off my face. Like it makes my face super clean, but super dry. And that's why I only use it twice a week, just to get that proper clean. It's really good at like, it just really gets rid of spots, it gets rid of makeup especially. So I don't wear makeup often, but when I do wear it, I take my makeup off with a makeup remover, makeup wipe, the normal makeup wipe, I don't use anything um, extravagant, just the normal 50p makeup wipes from Asda, from wherever. Um, after that, I use the dark soap and just wash it, like it gets rid, it gets rid of everything. All right, I wash that everywhere on my face. It's really good. You can even use it for your body as well. It smells super, super nice. The next product I use as well, after washing my face with the dark soap, 
I also use this twice a week, Wednesday, Saturday for me. And I use this Revolution Dark Spot Corrector. Correct and clarified serum. Correct and clarified serum. So yeah, it's like that. It's only small. I got it nine pounds. I spent nine pounds on this small little product, I know, but it is worth it. This is the best one. This and the dark soap are my two favorites, but I only use them twice a week because using, especially using the black soap can be a bit harsh sometimes. It does exactly what it says, corrects and clarifies. Like literally, if you have dark mat, this is the product for you guys. Okay, this one, this is the one. After having all my acne, I had lots and lots of scars and I just couldn't find the product that would get rid of my scars. Like, nothing was helping at all, but this right here is really, really good. Like, I love it, I love it. Ever since I discovered it, I think after like the first few weeks of using it, I was like, is this my skin? A few drops on my face, rub it in, nice, go to sleep with it. My skin looks great, it feels great after using it. I got it in September and it's still, it's still, it's like halfway. You know, so even though it looks quite small, if you're using it twice a week, you're not using it all the time. So you can still get a lot of use out of this. And as a final point, timing is key, guys. Timing is key. When I had acne, I used to think, when is this gonna get off my face? When am I gonna have the clay skin that everybody's talking about? Melanin popping, skin popping, but... And it's not 10 out of 10 skin, but it's a lot better than what it was before. So I'm happy and remember, timing is important. Timing is important. I feel like with age, acne just goes away because there was a lot of products I used before and when I went back to use it again, it, did, it didn't have the same reaction. I think the first time I used it, it was harsh. It was making me break out. I came to use it again, it worked. I struggle with patience personally, so I can understand this is not, it's a lot easier said than done. But patience is very important in the skin process because, yeah, like, it's not gonna go straight away. Like I said, having a regular routine is very important. Keeping it going, you'll see the results eventually. So, yeah. So, that comes to the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then give it a little like, you know, comment any products that work for you. And follow my Instagram. I even forgot, follow my Instagram. Gabrielle Sambu and this is Trusit. Bye!